The north-south lines on a map give grid north. The compass needle points to magnetic north. Grid north and magnetic north usually have a few degrees difference. Neither points straight at the north pole. That is called true north. However, it is not necessary to know where true north is to avoid getting lost. The difference in degrees for every map between grid north and magnetic north is shown at the bottom of the map. This difference is called the GM angle. The diagram at the bottom of newer map shows how to change grid azimuths to magnetic azimuths and magnetic azimuths to grid azimuths. For example, you aim your compass at a distant tower and get a compass reading of 190 degrees. This is called a magnetic azimuth. The diagram on the map shows that the GM angle is 9 degrees. To convert the magnetic azimuth to a grid azimuth, add the GM angle 9 degrees to the compass reading of 190 degrees. This gives you a grid azimuth of 199 degrees. Most times, the GM angle is so small that you do not have to be concerned with it. It depends on what region of the world you're in. Your instructor will tell you if the GM angle is large enough in your area to have to apply it.